Hi guys, hello, hello. I've just taken my photograph for my passport. How exciting. Edward is trying to get sick it to go to London, I think next week. We're at the Loughborough train station because they have a booth here. If I wanted to look a certain way with my um, passport. Okay, come on. Go on. Oh, and also I decided to, to do the video now because since we tried the um it was a Jaguar the Jaguar place. first and then it was Porsche the Porsche Cayenne. and we haven't shown you our choice I was kind of hesitant about doing the video because I thought to myself I don't want to come across like I'm showy showy so I said to Edward I wasn't gonna do it because Edward suggested it because we did the other two videos where we were trying to find a car and then we found a car and I was saying to him, oh, I don't really want to do it because I'm just not that kind of person. So yeah, um, tell me what you think. I am in love with my new baby. So I will turn this around. And look guys, because I still don't have my UK driving license, we have to have an L plate. So the color is what I fell in love with and the size. It wasn't too big and wasn't too small. And the interior is everything. Look at this. It's not the cleanest right now, I will tell you. Yeah, so every time I'm driving, I have to have Edward um, with me. I mean, I'm not driving at the moment. But the main purpose of our trip was to get these photographs and we've gotten them. And yeah, so Ed Edward is the, is the learner today. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Lisa's um, car. The truth is, this car has so many features. I don't think I will ever probably understand all the features so you press start Would you like the, a massage, darling? the one feature that I like in this car is the massage um, let me give you a massage <laughs> it's also got it's, <laughs> it's incredible it has heated um, seats as well. it and, it, and it goes cold as well wave have a wave motion so started yes can you feel it yes I can Ooh. Ooh. And if you can have a hot bottom or a cold bottom. I would describe this as a perfect handbag on wheels for Lisa. Well, it is. I wouldn't buy it for myself. This kind of car to me, even the color and, and the interior, it just doesn't, it doesn't look manly. <laughs> it looks more feminine. Well, if you were driving, I could say, suit you, madam, suit you, madam. Yeah, I know. But yeah. actually, yeah, it, it, it's a great, your seatbelt's not on, it's oh, oh, bleeping oh, at me. Oh. Unlike the other trick, one was a plug, petrol plug-in hybrid. This is a diesel. Uh, it's yes. The, it's the slowest uh, and least powerful of the three cars we looked at. Oh. But... It's, it's really quite good on fuel economy. I mean, it does about 55, 60 to the gallon. I like it. It's not like it's not like when we're looking for cars, I was looking for something that was, you know, something you can take on the race course. I think the most important for me was the that it was a Jeep type vehicle and the color was important and the interior. Uh, the color and, and I, I love the interior. The color and the interior were the most with the driving factors. Yes. We had to uh, <laughs> leave our home uh, and drive for two hours all the way to Cambridge to have a look at this well, beauty. It was one hour there and one hour back. What? So, was it Was it not? Was it more than that? Yes. It didn't seem like it. I know that's because your dear husband was driving. Well, we were chatting all the way, so it didn't seem that long. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so we went to Cambridge to, to look at it first because we saw it online. Auto Trader. Yeah, we saw it online and I saw the interior and the, and the, the color, of course, and I thought, ooh. 
So we went and how did and, you feel? <laughs> so we went and we, we had a look and this was a cellar. So anyways guys, when we get home, we'll stop and you know just probably show you the booth of the car and a few other things. The one thing I don't think I'll get used to is this. Look at this button. <laughs> where you like twiddle it to park reverse neutral drive um it's just i still i'm still not used to it because i prefer having something that you can pull it doesn't you know. feel right yeah it doesn't feel right but i think um when when we went to to look at it the guy who sold sold us the car he said that they've changed that they have apparently this sort of twiddly knob is very popular in germany but now in this country, uh, they're all a you know proper gear stick because people like to have something to get hold. Didn't he of. say that? Didn't he say that they have changed it back? Yes, they have. To, yeah, yeah, they have. To. Yeah, because this this just doesn't really, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right to me. But apart from that, I think the vehicle on a whole, it has so many features. I <laughs> I haven't started like Navigation. twiddling with stuff yet. Twiddling or fiddling? Twiddling, fiddling, whatever you want to call it. I haven't started doing anything with it, but I don't think we will be using all the features uh, that, think, that comes in I the I think vehicle. the one thing you probably do want to work out is how you get your telephone screen and all your apps to appear on there so you can listen to music and all your media and all of that. I think that would be useful. I don't think that would be difficult. Well, we've got to work out how to do it. Well, as long as you connect your phone to it. But one thing I have discovered, Lisa. What? And you might like to share with your viewers. What? It has this function here. You press the vehicle button and you press the di dynamic button and you put it into sports mode. And the... It's actually smoother when you take off, when, when you have it. Is it dynamic? No, yeah, sports it's, mode. Now it's in sports gears and dynamic mode, and it turns it into a sports car. I mean, it gets really zoomy, zoomy, and the suspension firms up, and the steering firms up, and it feels like a really different car. The handling is, the handling is fantastic on it. Yeah. I mean, now we're going around corners like a, a little car. It feels totally different, doesn't it? It does. The other thing I like about it is this head-up display on the windscreen in front of you, which displays the, the speed you're doing. Yeah, but I can't see it from here. No, it's something that I'm not driving. driving. Yeah. It is. Even Ike was saying the same thing when she was driving it. Well, don't know, switch that yeah, off don't now. get carried away. No, I must have, I've got a very precious cargo. Yes, exactly. A wife and child. Mm -hmm. So, somewhere. Poor thing. <laughs> Don't like. Uh, you've got to f get your hand around here to press the stop start button. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm very happy that now when you go to the supermarket, I have a booth, an empty booth, to put stuff in. Edward already bought me a lovely picnic uh, mat, so I, when I go anywhere, I can have it. So that's great. So all I need to do is hurry up and get my driving license, because I only have my provisional license, which is it's, it's it's actually painful to drive around with an L plate. It's just like I feel like a baby driver. Yes, I'm right here, Matty. 
the point your fingers. Come. And then watch this. Watch 